Good day, folks. I was better able to um, tune my coil here to a more optimal frequency with my configuration. And um, the last video I made, people got confused a little bit with my schematic. I don't know if I still... No, I, unfortunately, I don't have the drawing here no more. But what they got confused it was the 12-volt input being... 12-volt input, I didn't draw it in the schematic, but it's the power supply here, 12 volts. I used the inverter to isolate the back EMF when it comes in reverse back into the battery here. So this isolates it. This takes a couple watts, so not too bad in considering for isolation. And this one here actually runs off a milliwatt, so that's nothing there. So what I want to show you is if your coils are uh, well-tuned, um, when you turn this on, this is the inverter which is running through the battery here, as you can see. And if you turn this on and you're looking at the voltage, and I'll show you right now, we're about 12.67 now, 12 point, it bounces around a bit, 12.67. But there's no charge going on, it's just, it's not running anything, the inverter is off. Usually when we turn the load on, and you have to remember the inverter plus the power supply here will take a few watts altogether to run this and then the back EMF will do its thing but there's going to be more back EMF to easily counter the effect of the inverter and you'll see the obvious jump right away and this is how you can tell if you basically you're in the right direction you should have to wait you know 15-20 minutes before you notice if you're if you're in the plus or in the minus here so instantaneous increase, I'm going to turn it on, you'll hear it, you'll, you'll go click. And we're still here, you know, at 12.6, 12.68, 12 12.67, I haven't done anything. I turn it on, click, 12.71 already, see? All I did was turn it on, and this is what's coming into it right now. And um, I'm going to turn it off no more load so when I take the load away from the battery the voltage goes down no load when I turn it on and it creates a load but it also runs the back EMF it counter affects the voltage drop you would expect so we didn't charge you no know, for really long so you know it went right back down to 12.67 I'm going to turn it on 3, 2, 1, click See, this is what happens. Turn it off. No more. See, nothing on the scope. I turned it off. Voltage back down to 12.67. Oh, I may have gained a point. Because we did it a few times here. But see what I'm getting at? It actually charges the battery. I'm going to do it again. Click. I'm just trying to show you there's no tricks here. I can zoom out while I do it, click, you see the scope immediately, turn on, voltage back. So my point being, um, if you're on the right track, I may have repeated myself here, but um, you see it increase right away, right away. The voltage starts to go up. So I hope you enjoy. Um, as far as insights, if you want to know more, my previous video is about half an hour and it tells you pretty well everything that I know about how to build this. And thanks for watching. Any info, any help, any hints, anything you want to talk about, feel free to do so. Thank you. Until next time.